a chassid, should always carry along with him this right here, a fire extinguisher. Because Torah is fire. And a chassid is supposed to be full of fire, of Torah, and of Vodas Hashem. So he must always carry this just in case he becomes too riled up and too much full of fire that he must go and, you know, extinguish himself. Or a chassid around him. So basically, if they're studying very, two chassidim are studying, and uh, the one chassid, um, he becomes really flaming with fire, of passion. You know, the other chassid just goes and spritzes him with a little bit of, um, let's see, what's in here? Mm -hmm. Let's see, ingredients. For some reason, you don't list the ingredients. Um, but it's um, all natural, very tasty. This is special. Special kind for a chassid. It's, it's not a normal fire extinguisher. It's a uh, chassidish fire extinguisher with um, with good stuff. It's, it's very tasty. Okay. Now, a chassid usually wears what's called a um, a guard tool. He puts it around his waist. By the way, Chassid usually doesn't wear a, um, a picture of some t-shirt, except on weekends. Um, so, this isn't a weekend. So. Anyway, so Chassid wears this garzel in order to go and keep the blood towards the, the mind so he can pray and think of Torah Fawaz. It's much more Kavana. A litvish person usually wears the guards up here in order to separate hair for diaper work. And um, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to change diapers of the kids. And I uh, have my equipment. And I'll be happy to use it to help you out and uh, do my contribu contribution to our family. Plus, it doesn't normally like take showers. That's why we smell. We don't really take showers. We just go and clean ourselves. Like this. One second. Oh, one second. One second. Right, Here I am. Basically, clean ourselves like this. I'm taking my. This is a Hasidic Shabbat. I'm going to do my hair now. It's a little hard to get behind the uh, back, but try. Okay, I'm done. Um, I think I'll take a break here from uh, teaching you Hasidus. And, uh, and I'll be right back. Don't you worry.